Hello and welcome back everybody. Akamal DL here and this is this is going to be a like I don't know how to describe it exactly. I don't want to be ne negative Nancy about this or whatnot, but we're but me and a special guest C here. Uh she, Yep, uh oh, sorry. I I think I cut you off by accident there. No, it's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> um she has been on the channel uh before in my in my old like out of context uh stuff i should really do those again honestly but the legendary legend volk one. Oh, don't remind me <laughs> but we are here to discuss what dragalia could improve on and and because this was originally C's idea, I literally stole it uh, pretty much. I will have her explain what this video is going to entail of. So basically, I just had like over the years, and especially more recently, I've just had a lot of like thoughts culminating in my mind about this game. Like, yes, I still think Dragalia is a great game. Don't get me wrong. But there are some glaring issues with this game I do not think people realize. And I kind of want to address them. And also, you know, vent out my frustrations because sometimes this stuff aggravates me. And I just wish either A, it could be changed, or, you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely do agree. I definitely do agree because, because well, I've actually had, like, a few people comment, oh, look, Oh, oh look, there's a uh, Akamal again praising Psy Games as like the greatest fucking company in the in the entire fucking world. And well, to that, I I just want to say that's kind of the purpose of me wanting to do this as well. Where it's like I don't agree with absolutely everything they do. Right? I don't agree with everything, and and this will also be a way for me to also get that stuff out there in the world as well. But also, what I want this video to be is it's not just entirely a negative fancy. What are some improvements we could do and maybe something they could start to do starting with this anniversary or maybe even throughout the year leading up to fourth anniversary? Just stuff that just stuff to check off the checklist. Mm -hmm. that, that, that way at the least it, it's not entirely negative and maybe okay, okay, so maybe this can work instead. Type yes. of deal. I feel um, like it's it more of fun. like it's more of like it's like again, like I said this game is great, but with, like, every good thing, there's always, like, a skeleton in the closet in some cases. There's always something there. either swept under the rug or something like that that needs to be addressed. But people don't know this. Or it's like, you know, I don't even want to talk about that yet because I don't know if we're going to start with that one. Um, <laughs> people just blindingly praise this game, and it's like, you're missing all these glaring problems that are just right there in your face. How can you deal with this? What is your sanity level? It's it's incredible. The gotcha community. That's all I'm going to say. It's yes. incredible. The gotcha community. But but before we actually begin on this, um, I will have C's channel linked in the description down below. I know she's almost at 200 subscribers. Yes. It, it would mean a lot if you do subscribe to her. I mean, like, I also do. I also do Dragalia content. I also do a few other gotcha games as well every now and then, but mostly Dragalia. So basically, if you like Mike's content, you'll like my content too. So, you know, give me a watch. I'd greatly appreciate it. What I'm known for, at least, not my more recent stuff. I've been branching out a little bit. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> doing what I've been doing. Yes. Yes. Like, well, like, only like a, you can only upload Dragalia so much uh, before it's like, okay, I should probably do something else too. Yes, I'm, exactly. I, I'm not just a Dragalia head here, and and well, and also I will have links in the in the description down below. Feel free to check those out as well. So, without further ado, let us start. So, what's the first thing you can you want to vent about on this okay. list here? Yes, we have a on list. On our list. <laughs> yes, we do have a list. I wrote it all myself. To tell you which. Congrats of which I do. Congrats of which I do agree with this list. Actually, I do agree with this list, and I'll say my points in here as well. Okay, first, I feel like let's just go down from the list, like top to bottom. I All know right. we did have an extra thing, yes. so we'll just put that at the end. Okay. So, uh, let's talk about the events first. I generally feel like the events in this game 
lasts way too long for the content that's actually in the events. Like, the duration of the events are not worth it. Because so many people, especially late game, just speed run through the event in one day and never look at it again. That's that's typically what people do. And I really do like the quality of some of these events, like the original songs that they choose, and the stories as well, especially, especially with the anniversary events. Those oh, are yes. really, really good. Those are really good. And I don't rate the story very often in this game, but yeah, the anniversary stories are really, really good. Yes. Though I think, yeah, Donna Dragalia is still not in the event compendium. Get on it, Psy Games. Please. To be dead off, they're probably they're probably going to put it in there for third anniversary. Dead honest. Probably. <laughs> probably. But it's like, please do it. Because I love that song. Yes, yes. Everybody, everybody needs human moid Midgar. Everyone yes, needs because he's really good. He's, he's really, really best good. Free to play. And also he looks damn good too. <laughs> I'm going to act like I'm a simp here, but holy shit, can I just say? Human Midgard Silver looks hot! <laughs> <laughs> okay, back on track before yes. I go crazy over hot men! <laughs> <laughs> However, I just wish there was a way for events to be more structured, where the event duration was more worth the damn, like, more worth our time. Because I know, I, I actually, disclaimer, I, I wrote this before we found out about the event changes happening in December of this year. So keep that in mind. This was before we found this out. Yes. So a lot of this will be in like past tense or outdated. Mm -hmm. So you can clearly tell in the script it is outdated. Um, one way I do think that they could change the events is do a battle pass. Because right now, Alchemy Stars... With their current event, they're doing a battle pass with their summer events. So basically, you can log in every day and get points in the battle pass, um, which can help incentivize logging in every day, doing your dailies, so you can get those points to get more rewards in the battle pass. Plus, this battle pass is not paid. There is a paid version and a free version. So if you want more rewards, you can give them that extra money to just get more rewards, and you're still supporting the game so i think that is a interesting way to do it and i think alchemy stars does it really really well but i also like how they um so they have a brand new event again that also kind of ties in with the battle pass it's like part two of the current event so we have like a certain number of stages we can do a day and then it locks afterwards so we have to come back every single day and do the rest of the stages oh. which i think really does incentivize logging in every day, like getting those rewards and stuff. I want there to be more of an incentive for people to play these events every single day to get those rewards and actually enjoy it instead of doing it once and then pushing it to the wayside, if that makes any sense. It definitely does, but, but well, this is how I literally treat uh, Dragalia nowadays. I'm done with the hard farming. Um, the the only yeah. form of hard farming I'm waiting for is Dominions at this point. Mm. I don't I don't I don't care about Legend. So literally, I treat Dragalia as a dailies game. To as of where yes. I to, to as of where that's I how it's been lately with me too. Because I'm done with all the Agito stuff. I'm pretty much done with all that, and I'm doing weapon bonuses slowly but surely. But that's a long term thing. Same. Honestly, but... same. I, I'm almost done with cores. I'm almost done with all the weapon bonuses. That's going to be something. <laughs> um, but I just feel like there's... I just want it to be more incentivizing for people to come in and log in and enjoy the event because the team puts so much effort into making these events. It's like, I want people to actually enjoy the quality they put into these. Like, I think for one event, I think it was Time War and Torment, they actually got somebody who worked on Dragon Ball to do a song for that event. So I was like, yeah, they're paying high dollar for this. Better enjoy it. It's not Bruce Faulkner, therefore trash. I'm not a Dragon Ball fan, so I can't comment. 
You Dragon Ball fans, you will know what I'm talking about. You will (laughs) fucking know what I'm talking about. Shut the fuck up about him. God damn it. (laughs) (laughs) But yes. But yes, they really do put a lot, a lot of effort. I really do hope that the content slow down. It does help. It will, uh, it will unfortunately make the events even longer. But however, it it will help newer players actually start to do the other stuff and actually start to catch up without worrying about the event leaving. Then suddenly they're pounced on by another event immediately afterward. Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes when I enjoy, enjoy, um, join new gacha games, my bad. When I joined new gacha games, I'm going to use Alchemy Stars as an example again, because I joined like right at the tail end of events. So I had to grind like really, really fast in order to go through the entire story and get all the rewards. And it's like, that's not fun. It basically shifts my priority away from doing the actual stuff I want to do, like upgrading my characters and all that. So I feel like if the duration was a bit longer, which they might be doing in December, it could give the newer players that will probably be coming for anniversary or New Year's or whatever collab we have in, say, January or November, It will give them more time to do the events and do them at their own pace without worrying about, oh god, I gotta get this event done before it leaves. And all that. I have two hours and I have not even done the first story yet. That's what What? some people do. (laughs) That's what some people seriously do with this game. They they just drop it off of the face of the earth and it's like, oh shit, there's three hours left. Fuck, I gotta start it. (laughs) I try not to do that. I do not do that. At the most, I just accidentally miss uh, the story because I tend to read that later, so. Yeah, well then it's probably like on YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that also on the website, so I, so I can easily catch up. I just haven't done it for some of them yet, but that's just mm-hmm. me being lazy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but well, as for um, how I think uh, they could uh, affix events, once again, I do feel like uh, the content slowed down, it will help but also making something actually worthwhile, right? Because because I can relate this very easily to Grand Blue, right? One type of event that they that, that they end up doing is is well I I could say a Unite and Fight. For for you Grand Blue players, you know what that is. For for those of you who are not that that's your essentially your competitive guild mode. So as of where literally it's only open for like a 3 or 4 days and so- and so like rankings. clan battle and princess connect so that's what it's like so like clan battle and princess connect except it's worse oh god it's worse because because literally people are up for for like the entire time they share accounts you are literally grinding your ass off to get the highest placement possible oh my god and and now imagine a guild of like 30 people doing it Oh my god! There's a reason everyone hates a, a Unite and Fights. Thank god Clan Battle isn't that bad. So you see, we don't need that specifically, but but maybe something along those lines, like a like a clan type of event to as of where, yeah, you, like... to, to as where you grind. Maybe something also also in Grand Blue, something like like the Xenos. Alright? To 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 as of where you grind weapons. Um, you grind summons, and, and, well, maybe the Dragalia equivalent would be, like, special Wimprints, not, maybe similar to Dominion, but them being limited to that event, maybe, like, a one mm-hmm. or two new Wimprints, uh, twice of where you farm that out, and, and, well, obviously, you then, uh, max unbind it as well. Maybe something mm-hmm. like that, maybe, maybe a unique weapon that gives, like, a, a unique ability or something like that. Just something for us to do during events. Or maybe something else. They can leave events as they are, but add a permanent content that takes a long fucking time to grind. Much more than Dominion. Maybe about Agito tier. Yeah, I think what you said about the other stuff, how I was relating it to Clan Battle and Princess Connect, um, that could totally be something, like, if they added, like, a guild event, like, have it be, like, a week or, like, five days or something, that could really help alleviate like the dead periods in the game so there's always something going on yes exactly it gives something for people to do and for clan battle like for princess connect 
we get special coins for that that we can trade in for like character shards or weapons or whatever. Exactly. So, bas so basically with that, we could get like a special item and trade that in the shop for say like uh, sunlight stones or champion's testaments or Damascus ingots, stuff like that. Make Eldwater. it worth our while. Eldwater. <laughs> yes. And it's like, because the guilds have been around since launch in Dragalia and Close they to haven't launch. done anything. They haven't done anything with them besides, you know, having them be check a in. daily That's incentive it. to check in. Yeah, exactly. That's literally their only purpose. They need to add incentive to the guilds. So, so those are my two cents on everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's shift over to the next topic which is going to be very controversial because i know there's either two sides of the coin on this one either you like it or you hate it and it's alberian battle royale so by the way both me and mike absolutely fucking hate this mode we do not like it at all and yep. i know i've said before in other videos talking about other games um just afk pvp i know i said this in my x dive video you guys have seen those. If not, you should probably watch those if you care. Yes. But if not, that's fine. <laughs> but, um... No, no, do it. Watch them. Do it! Come back. Watch them and come back. Do it. <laughs> so, I basically say AFK in those, because you're going to get the rewards anyways, because it's just calculated by how many matches you do. And, like, if you win or not, then you get, like, certain draws a day in the prize pool, which is totally fine. It's like, okay, cool. And it's also a daily login thing you have to do, which is like, okay, that's fine. I can go do that there. But we do not like PvP modes. Alberia Battle Royale is like the pits of the pits when yes. it comes to PvP. It's like, and I know some people do not like Princess Connect PvP as well, but hey, at least I don't have to control my units in that PvP mode. Cause that is true. Let's... That's... That's a PvP That's I do prefer. I do prefer Where you that just PvP. sit and watch. Yes. Where you just sit and watch. And, you know, see your investment actually do something. So, reasons why we do not like it. One, the game mode is fucking boring. It, it's like... It's also, not even like... it is very much like Fortnite in the Battle Royale yes. style. Yes. Which is stupid. And I just feel like it's just either Nintendo or Psy Games cashing in on a trend. Nintendo. I know Nintendo have done a few other, like, Battle Royale type of things before with, like, Tetris 99 or something like that. You but see, actually, but those Tetris, are fun. Yes, but Tetris 99 is actually fun and not um, boring like this mode. Plus, I feel like the map for ABR is a little too big. Because I find myself a lot running around aimlessly with nothing there. I just feel it's too big. And due to this, many people are just AFKing this, like right from when it was introduced. Yeah, people started when, AFKing it. When it was pretty much uh, the meta, and uh, towards where there was no like real downside. But, mm, but, but, like, it's still possible, it just takes a lot more time, which, honestly, yes. I, I don't care about, really. You can still complete all, all of the points within, like, three, maybe, like, five-ish um, times it, it, it returns. Just, just, just dedicate a few hours every day whenever you're doing, like, nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still possible. I, I just haven't done it yet, because, once again, I'm too busy to... It's like, I genuinely do just don't care. I do ABR mostly for the weapon skins because yep. <laughs> those weapon skins are really cool. And for some stupid reason, they don't put them in like a shop or something where if, say you miss one, like, okay, let's say your favorite character is Luis because she did have a weapon skin like way, way, way back when they started doing the weapon skins. Mm -hmm. I think in like November, they started doing those. I don't remember. I don't know um, like, exactly. I don't remember, but I know Luis was one of the first few ones. So, like, say your favorite character is, like, Luis or something, and you want her character skin. Well, too bad you can't get it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's not there right now. Right now, it's Volk's Lance, I believe. 
Yes, it because, is. Because of the gala that we had a few days ago. So there's that. But also for ADR, the lag is terrible. It is so bad. I mean, well, to be fair, you have 16 fucking players loaded in on a damn gotcha mobile game. With, yes. With, and with probably seen... Nintendo servers. Probably Nintendo Windows XP servers, because there's been some stuff that came out about Nintendo servers being the same for, like, 20 years. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, they ain't exactly doing them any favors with that mode. It just... But because of this lag, it leads to very, very cheap shots, which can make people very upset and making it seem unfair. May I mention, even though I love Seimei... He's one of my favorite characters in Dragalia. He is busted in Alberian Battle Royale. He is busted. Go, so if you have him and you have his skin unlocked, basically almost an instant win if you know what you're doing. Because his skill is broken. Yeah, got woof. Yes. <laughs> But because of this, it will make people upset and not want to play the mode. But then again, why would you want to play this mode unless, you know, you like Fortnite or something? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's I, will, like, I just, I, I I just don't this. get a sense of joy playing this at all. I like I've never said, got joy from, from this. Even winning, it's like, that was fucking hell. Yes, because when this, when, okay, so back when that got leaked, the updates, because I think it was through the Apple stores that got updated, um, and we had, like, the patch notes and stuff that got leaked to us, everyone oh, yeah. was like, oh, no, what is this? Everyone was freaking out, and then we saw it, and we were like, this is stupid, why is this here? Nobody asked for this. Okay, what I what I find funny about when it was like officially revealed in, in the digest, it was this followed up by Time Attack. In the and in, everybody in the, was the, freaking out in, as well in, in about the, Time Attack. In the in the I didn't get this, and, and well, I literally looked at an ad and I said, "What the fuck are you guys doing right now? Do not fucking drop the ball in this game right now." I was like, "Please don't." Like, because... They're riding so high on so much hype. Do not kill your fan base again. Do not. Please. Yeah, because because before that whole uh, time attack disaster, I was there for that. I was there I when it all happened. Not... I I almost quit at that time. I actually almost quit. I was not there for that, so I do not have the first-hand experience. But for those people that were playing during that time, I have heard the horror stories. But thank God they fixed time attack. They made Wait, it God. they made it worth doing as just like a very quick event. I don't yeah. I don't care about it for the competitive value at all. Yeah. Even though, you know, some people thought it would be funny to cheat, which is dumb. I actually Whatever. know the full story on that. I actually know the full story. You should tell me later. <laughs> I will absolutely tell you later because oh boy, it's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's pretty funny actually, but but the well, um, at, but well, as for like um a billion battle royale uh, for me, I absolutely fucking hate it. I would say I would say you're a move in the damn mode. But I would say that just if you have to include a PvP mode, th there are ways you can do it. Mm -hmm. Much better ways than a battle royale and riding on that hill. I mean, like we're still in season zero and, and it's been out for a year. Yes, it's pathetic. We're, so it's we're still in season zero with only like one major update. That's it. Which was like what price changes, price yeah. changes in weapon skins. That's it, I think. Um, it was um, it was it was how earning points worked. One map edition. Then yeah, the price changes. Yeah. So they didn't do much, but that basically shows us the player base that they have no fucking idea what to do with this mode. Either so like been... either no idea or don't care. To each other's like. It's there, we'll just do stuff, like, uh, on the every month. I just had the one thing. Whatever. Yeah. But I feel like, still, they should just remove it if they're gonna keep doing the same thing. Because I feel like it's wasting space. Because I know a lot of people are complaining about astral raids. And how that doesn't do much anymore. Because I remember back in the day, that was how you got augments. But now we have 
It was a, a lot more way. resources. It was. We have a lot more resources for getting augments. So basically, astral raids feels useless. And I know Okada said that they do want to look into that. I am a firm believer we might see more information about that specifically during this digest. I, I do hope so. I, I do hope I so. Feel like, I feel like that, that is especially going to be one of the like big revamps they do announce during this. And I, for one, am really, really hoping it does turn out very good. Give us like proper astral weapons, too. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Like, let that actually, let that be the Xeno equivalent. Yeah, it's like I don't play Grand Blue, but yeah, give no. us something else to work towards. <laughs> yes, yes, like just come on, it's in front of you, man. Give us Agito Bane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> I feel like if they were to remove Alberian Battle Royale, they should still give us a way to get those weapon skins. Like with the new invasion events, uh, we have weapon skins in there it's mm -hmm. like either put those through a treasure trade or i don't know put them in events or something like that or maybe or, or maybe also when those invasion events get added to the event compendium maybe you can literally toss those previous albion battle royale skins and and toss those into those points that would be really interesting it would be because, because it's like, hey, guess what? Prince of Weapon Skins are in here. And guess what? Just if I ever do Weapon Skin, boom, it's like 25 or might. Like, yeah. Or maybe 10, I don't know. It's something. Um, I think already for, like, Weapon Skins, it gives you, like, 25. Oh, really? I think so. Hmm. Um, I cleared out the event compendium, so I can't check. Gotcha. <laughs> Maybe we'll see oh, yeah. if the Persona event comes back. Oh, I would love for that one to come back. Yes. Love for it. Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. Um, but then, but then well, uh, but, well, uh, one more thing on the about on the I'll be doing about Royale uh, before we uh, uh, move on with it. If they were to like do something uh, uh, with it entirely, um, just a, a just make it good and fix the lag. That's about it. But if they were to remove it. Make sure you transfer all the rewards. Yes, because... Because, believe it or not, there's a lot of gold and a lot of Eldwater in there. Yes. There's hidden behind also, a lot of points. Also, there are sunstones in there. Like, little fragments of those. I forgot what the fragments are called. So, ores. my bad. Sunlight ores. Yeah, the ores. The sunlight ores. So, there are sunlight ores in there. And as we know, sunstones are very hard to come by. They're very, very hard to come by. So they need to give us a way to give to get those again. Though I do yes. know that they are trying to fix that. Oh yeah, that's right. That, that reminds me of rate. something else ABR did. They did they did give us a sign so then they took it away. Then they took it away from us. That's probably what, that's probably why everyone hates it the most, because like you had something. Okay. You had okay. actual incentive. Then yes. you it was in our hands. They took it away. The only reason why people really played it at launch was because of those sunlight stones. I remember I did that because like, oh, wow, sunlight stones. I can work on some of my limited dragons, like say my Arsene or something. Exactly. I was that like, wow. Sure. That'd be great. Oh, no. Oh, it was in our hands. They took it away. It's like we got some little taste of uh, greatness, and then they just stole it away. Yes, I was mad about that. Nintendo probably said, what are you doing now? It's like <laughs> Nintendo's like, you're being a little too generous. Stop that. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't... I, I, I don't know who... I don't know who's, who, whose call that was, but, but I just want to meet this person face-to-face. And just be like, oh, what is your thought process? What made you think this was a good idea? Yes. Because at the time, Sunlight Stones were still very, very scarce. They were, scale they were scarce, therefore making that actually worth doing. Yes. Now there's like next to no worth. Exactly. It's like, just do the weapon skins and leave. That's really it. Yeah. 
And I know they're trying to do something like, oh, if you pull this character in this banner, you get a unique skill. Uh, it was uh, okay, but it's also just like, like I don't like it. It's in a mode that people do not care about. Yeah, yeah, I know because the because a prime example, as far as I especially don't care about it anymore, is Sima existing. Like, like, mm-hmm. well, like as you have stated, he's incredibly fucking broken. But guess what? You have to pull him. Yeah, and here's the problem: he's limited. Exactly. He's limited. The last time he was available was during the uh, thousand year, not the thousand year. God damn it! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dragalia has to send time. A thousand years. We've been playing this game for a thousand years. Yes. <laughs> ah! I'm joking. No. Hol- um, holy music sounds. The uh, thousand day anniversary when they had all the seasonals come back. That was a good the banner, New Year's though. characters. That was a great banner. That was, that a, really was a great good banner. banner. That was happy um, with that banner. Because I know a lot of people got Seimei through that, which is like, hey, great, cool. You get to experience my favorite little jackass. Yes. But besides the point, still, that skill is locked behind Seimei, and we don't know when he's coming back. Because, again, he is limited. Exactly. Same thing with, like, certain other... One's like Joker, because he had one too. And he's locked behind a collab. Yeah, we don't know if he's coming back. Which is worse. (laughs) We don't know if he's coming back because we haven't seen the Monster Hunter one come back yet. Yeah, really, really hoping that that one comes back with Spirals. Oh, yes, definitely. Because I know Fire Emblem Heroes came back like two times. Two times, then. Then one more for for the compendium stuff. Yes. So, like, yeah, the events are in the compendium, but those characters, say you came out, say you start playing the game after those came out. You can't get them anymore. Yeah, so we are going to have to see whether or not they do, like, a special dream summon for, 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 for them or whatnot, or whether or not they're, they're checked in the general dr- dream summon. We just have to or see. Or they're lost forever. If they're lost forever, suck. a lot of people will be mad. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we've gotten off track. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's talk about the next thing, which I think is going to be a lot more controversial than Elberian Battle Royale. Yeah. So, let me make this very clear with this one. So, this next one is about the community. Before you get your pitchforks up, I do not, we do not hate the community as a whole. We love the community. Isn't yes. that right? Yes. We do love the community. Why else do you think I became a YouTuber? Well, kind of. <laughs> but there are parts of the community we do not like. We do not enjoy. Mostly me, there are parts of it that I do not like. At all. Mostly on Twitter. Mostly on Twitter. So... <laughs> I get it. A lot of pe- people are passionate about the games that they like. I am too, because I do like a lot of uh, more obscure games and stuff like that. So I do feel very passionate about those. I want other people to experience those. But I do not like it when people are constantly shoving other things down people's throats. Like with the constant, um, play Dragalia Lost, play Dragalia Lost, constantly, constantly, constantly. Because I think there was one instance where a Mitsu King was asking people, oh, what game should I play? And then, you know, all of Dragalia Twitter just freaking flooded oh, that yeah. tweet. And I'm just like, I highly doubt a competitive Smash player is going to play Dragalia Lost, guys. Um, um, just if I'm correctly, uh, just if I remember correctly, um, um, while, while a person was, was a, was a streaming, someone actually did ask him, um, about that. Um, he, he also just, uh, laughed off, said, said it was pretty funny. So, so, like, it, so, so, like, it mainly does depend on the person for it. Yeah. But, but, well, on the side note of that now, there is also the Smash Pulls that have been oh, happening on God, Twitter. Oh, the Smash Pulls! I'm gonna be honest, those are funny to me. Those are funny. Okay, so I've been a Nintendo fan for as long as I can remember, probably since I was like eight years old. So I know how this stuff works. 
And I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Um, it's going to be a very, very low chance Yudin gets in the game. So yeah. I'm sorry, but I just know how they work. Plus, um, they decide on the DLC stuff beforehand. Yeah. Like long, long, long beforehand. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, for example, uh, right now, as of us recording this, uh, the final the final uh, DLC character is already set in stone. We just don't know who we it is yet. We just don't know who it is yet, but um, there have been rumors within the next week or so. We will find out. So You were going to tell me about these that later. Part, that part is going to be outdated. You are that... going to tell me about that later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, we'll find but, that eventually. But the well, but, there are obviously a few people who treat those fan smash polls like, like it's like the, the real Bible. fucking thing, and like I just find Bible. that so funny because because well, there was one person in particular. I'm not going to say. No, so, do not name names. I'm not. I'm not. Names. I'm not going to name names. Obviously, but but well, literally every quote unquote losty that was quote retweeting it. He was commenting on every single one of them. <laughs> it God. was quite a sight to behold. And literally it everyone is something. like, are you mentally okay right now? Are you actually okay right now? Yeah. And I was like seeing, I know for, like, I know right after we found out about the um, new stuff, somebody uh, quote tweeted the announcement tweet from the official Dragalia Lost Twitter saying like, oh, play, play Dragalia Lost, play Dragalia Lost without even reading the post. And I'm just like, do you guys read this stuff? Because this is kind of important. Yeah. I was like, I just don't think, I just don't think that the community at times thinks. It is able to um, understand certain things, if that makes any sense. I'm not saying people are stupid. I'm just saying, like, they don't know when to think before they speak. They don't know when to stop. They don't know when to stop. Because I know a lot of some other content creators, I will mention Quiddy because he was somebody that was concerned about this. He was concerned about the community turning into that community. And that's not something, like, we want personally either. Because this community is great. Hell, I met most of my friends through Dragalia Lost. This game means a lot to me. I met Mike through this game. Yeah. So, <laughs> there's... This game means a lot to me, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's a bad side to the community. Before you say all side games communities are good, no, they're not! No, <laughs> no, they're no not. never! Every community has a bad side, and and unfortunately, the bad side is kind of what shows in every community. And there are especially gotcha game, gotcha game communities especially have, have a have a much much rougher side. Mm -hmm. Like I was being honest, they really really do. Like like the well, um, I was I was a part of like multiple gotcha gaming uh, communities ever since I was like fifteen years old. About. Mm. So yeah, I've been playing games for for a while, and Jesus fucking Christ, some people are dumb as bricks. <laughs> I'm not going to share about that. Some people are fucking dumb. <laughs> all right, all right. You can you the can Dokkan literally redditors. the Dokkan redditors. Not even that. Just it's <laughs> dare I say most Dokkan, most Dokkan people in general outside of like the Dokkan YouTubers and, and and like a few others, obviously. Yeah, but. But like most of them, it's incredible, because 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 especially for me, I really played Dokken from from day one till till third year anniversary, and to 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 which also that's where me and Matthew we started a Twitch channel, twice where we were literally helping people make Dokken teams, and this soared during second anniversary. Hence, well, why for a good while you were called Lord Dokkan. I think that you was were a mod. Lord Dokkan. That's yeah. a mon. I we think did... he still is. He still is called Lord Dokkan. So shout out to Amon. He he still is. Um, that's actually how Matthew met Amon, actually, through Dokkan. But but the well, literally during these streams, 
we would have there's there was like one one day in particular it, it was like one of our first days of actually doing this we must have had like 50 people ask for teams oh yes i remember it was like matt was doing a stream like he was like the only english person doing a stream yes so yeah he cashed in on that yes yes that and that also because it's a fucking doken now there's at one point where, where we literally had a hundred a hundred views on twitch and for us nice be, and for us being like 15 16 maybe 17 year olds that was big for us yeah because like we are we were like nobodies i i, I think matthew on that account actually hit over a thousand followers but literally because the community is so garbage we literally cut all ties entirely mm -hmm. with, with that community i might i don't even want to touch doken again be, because of that community yeah I feel I am very concerned about the Dragalia community because of some of the stuff I've seen on Twitter. Like, people um, blindingly praise the game, but it's like, this game has flaws, as I've said at the very top of the video. It's like, this isn't the second coming of Christ, people! This is a fucking gotcha game! Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I, I mean, well, I was just, there was a set period in time to us where it truly did feel like it was the best thing on the goddamn market. There was a period in time to us where it was yes. fucking amazing. But Nowadays, now it's, it's like it's still good. It's, it's still one of the best, but it's not the second coming of Christ. Fuck no, hell it's, no. It, it's definitely not that. There was a point where I'm not gonna lie, it did feel like it, but definitely not now. Let's say probably around like anniversary or something. That's usually when it starts to feel like that. First? Like people get. First oh, anniversary, I would say. First anniversary first is, is, where, is where that yes. was. I, I feel like first anniversary was where they truly hit the fans saying, we are going full on in this game. We're going full. Be yeah. like, they established themselves to be like, hey, we're here. Play the game. You know, have fun. We're a generous game. Yeah, that, and that also, I will always say the first anniversary was the best because of that event. Mm -hmm. Because that set the standard for, for anniversaries, and it was such a shock, the quality that it was. Yes. I will always say that. I will always stand by it. I listen to that theme so much. That's my favorite theme in all of the, the Dragalia because of that damn event. Like, that event was special to me. It truly was. Mm -hmm. It was I, also very special to me because that was, like, one of the first events I've ever experienced and really got to enjoy. And I read the whole story. I was like, yo, what is going on with this story? And that's that story got me hooked and be like, yes, I want to stay with this game. I want to see what happens next. Yeah, I will. I will say this. So um, um, what it does come come to the story, what my hook was, was I'm going to be dead fucking honest. It was me seeing them. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I'm it. I'm being dead fucking honest. I, uh, knew uh, it. I was I was just skipping, 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 but I like every once in a while I actually read and see if anything can catch my interest. I saw Brunhilda change into men. What the fuck? And me no, and, and me and my younger brain, I was like, for Ooh. Two. And me and my young brain, no, I was like, that's, Ooh. that's two for two on simping for dragons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I will. I will say this. So Mim, Mim has been okay in my book. I really don't care to any waifus anymore. Really, I really don't. Yeah, understandable. I've grown an immunity. Like, yes, this is like the one thing though out of the whole list we can't talk about and say we can fix it by doing this and doing that because the people make the community. Yeah, we, you can't change people. It's very hard to change people. I, recall, I will. I will say that more recently, especially on the Twitter side of things, they've been more tame. Yes, they have no, been there was a lot more a tame. Period. There was a period where people they were, were bad. They were really bad. They were rampant. Let's say that they were rampant. Yes, and sometimes I still see it every now and then. Where I just kind of roll my eyes and be like, ha ha, funny joke, guys. Please calm down. It's like, I've even complained about it on my own Twitter. Because I am very blunt on my Twitter and I really don't care. <laughs> if I got something to say, I will say it. Yeah, same. I mean, like, I'm able to look at my Twitter and, and, and Discord profile picture. I'm the definition of I don't care. 
<laughs> okay. Let's move on to the next thing. This so, is this is a good one. This is a good this one. This is a really about. good one. This is a really good one. So this one, uh, we are kind of a little bit upset with the locking progression behind certain units, or more specifically, newer units. All the back. I wrote I wrote it in the script as new units, but it's like eh, with this one situation that we're gonna talk about. That doesn't apply here. So, I personally do not enjoy Dominion sometimes, or will having the clears be more difficult to obtain if you do not have a certain unit. The main issue, like the main offender of this, is not having Galileanitis for Jaldabaoth. That is the big yeah. one. That is, I remember, that is the I prime example of this. That's the prime fucking example. I remember at launch, um, Jaldabaoth launch, people were furious. Furious. About this. Yeah. It's like, why do we have to have Leonidas for this? This is so stupid. Because, again, like other characters we've mentioned, Galileonidas is limited. Yeah. And he was only on rate up for like two banners. Exactly. So it's like if you didn't get him either time, well, you're shit out of luck. Or it's like you just literally made faster, a... more difficult for you. Yeah, yeah. Which, and which, and which, well, that is one thing I will give a Dominion though is that you don't need to do a master. Master is treated yes. as a as a challenge stage. You can do yes. expert and still complete everything. You can literally yes. skip, skip master, do it, do do it one time, lay on down the line when it comes easier, then never touch it again. Yeah, I will give Dominion that. Yes, but but we're still with Jaldi and Leonidas. He still he still makes experts significantly easier, so that kind of still does apply. Yeah, uh, I know you can kind of get around it with shared skills, but still, those SP costs do not do well for optimization and fast clears. No, they don't. Especially, just... like, things like Gullamascula's shared skill, which takes a lot of SP. It's really good, but it's... It's really good! But... It's expensive, though. Yeah, 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 you gotta sacrifice an arm and a leg for that one. There was... Okay. We were talking about this before we started recording with the uh, Iblis a bit. This isn't like with any specific character, but this is more of like you need the certain affliction to have a decent time yes. in, say, Master Iblis. Because I have a friend, I'm not going to mention names, he does not have a single flash burner. You know who all. you are. You, you know, know who, who you are, buddy. <laughs> you know who you are, buddy. And I feel I'm, sorry, I'm sorry for you. I feel I'm sorry. sorry for you. <laughs> So he doesn't have a single flash burner, so he can't do solo Asura. Not Asura. Iblis. Asura. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I, I, I will oh, say yes, this, yes, though, yes. about Iblis. I will say this uh, uh, about Iblis, especially Master Iblis, is mm -hmm. that at the least when it comes to the afflictions, it is a much softer restriction rather than Gali and Ice on Jaldi. It's much, mm -hmm. much soft, softer. It's more flexible to fill. It's yes, still a bitch. Because, it's still a bitch, but it's soft. Because you can do like budget clears. Because I cleared expert with Ranzel, actually. Yeah, there is just a, for shits and giggles. There actually is a auto team that that uses like a two or three very easily accessible units. It's mm -hmm. it, it's it's pretty dumb actually, and and, and I think of the only like limited unit on there actually is like Galleaf. So ah, that's the, the, that's the one thing about that but beyond that it's like just work up these three units and you can generally do it you can do it generally easily there was also like another soft restriction i feel like with summer alex and asura because i know i mentioned the sir earlier because i was kind of skimming through my script by accident um that one because i hate master asura um, solo. I hate it in solo. In co-op, it's perfectly fine. In co-op, it's perfectly fine. Co-op like is, had... co is easier than solo with the yes. right with the right people. It's much easier. Yes, because 
well, you know, you have you could do like three Alberius and three Leonidas and one healer and you're good. Yeah, pretty much. With solo though, obviously you can't do that. So you gotta come up with some strategies. And uh, I do not have Summer Alex, which is highly recommended for the second half of Asura. So the yeah. flame section for me is literal torture. I actually did literal not do torture. It. I did not do it with Summer Alex. I still got a pretty good time, actually. Yeah, I, I remember correctly. you did that. You did that. But I'm just like at that point where I'm just like, well, Master doesn't really matter, so I'll come back at a later day and do it. It's not something I'm too concerned about right now. Yeah, and and I'm too honest. That's why I do I do give a dominion to some slack as well, and also and also obviously a legend, legend Ayutos as well. Yes, it's not required. You it's not required, even though a lot of people make it out to be because people chase for those first clears, which I think is stupid. Please don't do that. It's it's, ma it's, it's mainly so the bragging stupid. rights and the and the satisfaction knowing I did this the first day it came out. I understand yes. that feeling. But you can only do that so much before it's like, I do not care anymore. I just want to live. Yeah, because yeah, I I know we did that with Lilith, Expert. We got my first clear of Expert Lilith on stream, actually. So that, that I thought is that somewhere. was really cool. That's somewhere. Yeah, that's somewhere. Um, But I was like, yeah, that's so cool and all this and that. And I know I got Jalaboth Master on first day. Which was awesome. Which is really awesome. But I just don't care for Legend. I have a personal vendetta against Legend Cayenne, so one day I will get my revenge on him. <laughs> but that's going to be sometime down the road. I don't know when. Versus but... versus me right now, I'm trying to do like all the legend fights with the with the like uh, promotional teams oh, yeah. and stuff the, like that. The trailer stuff because I did yes. I did look over the trailers too. Yes. And <laughs> and oh boy, um I I I need to continue that. I just haven't I just haven't had the patience nor the time to do it. I still plan on it. Don't worry, I still plan on it. <laughs> it's not dead yet. It's not dead yet. Yeah, but Legend for me is just, I'm not going to do that. Like, it's it's all one and done for me, personally. But I want to wait a while before doing that. Yeah. That's just how I am. So, like, if I can't clear it, even after several attempts, I'm just going to hold it off. Until we get more tools at our disposal. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why I like waiting for the Dominion slots, because they do make it a lot easier. They yes. really do. Yes. Plus, like, my main issue with, like, this restriction for boss fights is I like doing creative clears. Like, I do, I used to do a ton of showcases before I kind of put those to the wayside for a little bit. I need to get back to those. Same, I really actually. Do. Same, actually. Have, That's been bullying me. <laughs> I have two on the back line that I need to take care of. Um, I like doing those sometimes. They're really fun, like, clearing um fights with weird characters like i did halloween akasha and master lilith so that was really fun that, that i have fun using fun. her yeah it was really fun so i like this but i feel like this locking this locks people away from doing their upgrades that they need to get more powerful again with leo and jaldabaoth say if you don't have leo or you don't have Halloween Lowen or something like that, you're fucked. You can't do this. You can't grind expert. Yeah, though, so even... that's something I do not like. It basically gates you from the stuff you kind of want to get. Yeah, exactly. But, but well, even, even outside like a pro progression necessary stuff, there are people who really do like uh, the metal system. Because, because well, I know, for example, I know several people... Um, who, one oh, like yeah, really yeah. loves Fleur, one likes Aileen a lot. So so they try to obtain all the medals for that character. And because of this existing, it becomes significantly harder to get that done. Mm-hmm. Cause yeah, you know that's actually like a good idea for a video, me doing it for a character. So the character I may have in mind, oh dear god, I have to play Legend Ciela. Oh god. Oh god. No. I hate Legend Ciela so much. 
Um, but I, still I, I cleared want... that once. Only once. One and done. One and done. I still want in-game content to be hard, though. Like, actually make it difficult where you need to learn their patterns. Like, you know, with Lilith, you gotta learn her patterns. You need to know um, what side you need to go on to dodge her candy and all that. Yes. And you need to know where to put the candy shower. With Yaldabaoth, you need to know how fast you need to be to get rid of the enemies before it one shot kills you and all that. I even I even feel like Iblis kind of does fit under the Lilith umbrella. A, yes, a of where? Yes, yeah, she. Yes, yeah, she. Yeah, he does. That's I why, why I was saying it, it was a girl. <laughs> That's I, I'm able to fear Uriel. To be fair. To be fair, when I first saw Iblis, I thought it was a girl. Ah, because to we, be fair, because we got all free. Everyone's first reaction on on Iblis I saw was ooh Kaya. Really? Because <laughs> my first thought was, oh my god, it's the Iblis trigger from Sonic 06! <laughs> like, the, 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 uh, the name Iblis, I, I, I didn't really uh, think that too, but yet, upon seeing it, everyone said, oh, that, oh that's Kaya, fuck. Oh, no. It's like, I still want the endgames to be accessible to a good variety of people. And not need, like, one specific character to make it simpler. But I feel like this is going to change over time. Because I know way, way back when Augie came out, like, the meta for Volk was, like, three Marths and a Halloween Lowen. And if you didn't have Marth, you were screwed. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and let's go even further back to the damn... Hi, dragons. Oh, yeah, those with the fucking... It was... It, it was... A Cleo cheese. Oh, Jupiter especially, that was bad. Jupiter was bad. I was mainly talking about High Midgar, which was where it's like, okay, okay, it's like, use Vanessa, use, like, uh, Makoto, like, you use needed America, the, you needed, like that. you needed the very high DPS units at the time in order for you to have a chance to clear it. Be mm -hmm. Because, but damn, High Midgar was hard back in the day. Now yeah. it's like, <laughs> 10 seconds. Now it's a literal joke. Yeah. Which makes it easy for grinding, because I'm still... I'm getting ready to do, like, all the weapon bonuses for those, so I've been stockpiling Ori Calcum like crazy. Oh, boy. That, yeah, and I have That was a fun all, grind. I have it all calculated, and it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. It's just still, like... Yeah, this is going to change with time, especially with Agito. Like, that opened up after a little bit. Because now we have cheeses and stuff. Like, we have that Tartarus cheese with Karina. Oh, that was fun. I I, I will say this. It was between Karina cheese and, and, dark, and dark cheese, like, day one. I was a mm -hmm. prime... I was prime contributor to dark cheese. Mm -hmm. I, I saw a I lot of those. I will I will wear that proudly. I did not want to fuck with light. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to play it legit because I liked playing Mitsuhide at the time. She was like my main light character at the time. So I wanted to actually get the clear with like a light team. And after like three days, I finally got it. Yeah, he was because just that one. Tartarus was, was not easy. Not he was not very easy. easy. Now not it's easy. a literal oh. joke. I find Taurus to be fun. I find Taurus fun. Yes, he's the most fun out of the Agito. Yes. Though still with, like, the Karina cheese, you still need, like, really, really high DPS to do it. Because it, if you do not, like, shift luck. him into phase two at a certain point, your run's fucked. It's also luck as well, because you only have a chance yes. to bog. Yeah. Uh, Which I, sucks. I think it's, like, 20-ish percent or, like, 23 percent or something it's, like that. It's low. Exactly, it was low, and the fact that people were were, were grinding it that way, it's like, are you serious? How much sand like, do you have? Do, I didn't do the bog strat. I did another strat somebody taught me with, oh, really? like, I think it was a double buff. It was mostly double buff in Summer Cleo and GNC. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it, too. Mm -hmm. But still, you still need very high DPS requirements for that, because if he does that in Rave Shin, your run's done. Yeah. Run's done. Get done and dusted. But yes, I think 
all this will probably be sorted out with time, but I just still feel like right now it's really annoying. It's still very annoying. Yeah. Because, still... like, say, say it's a newer player. Say, like, for example, say it's a newer player who's trying to get into Dominion and they don't have, they want to do Jell the Buff and they don't have, like, a specific unit. You know, yeah, they're fucked. They're basically fucked. Or, like, they don't have many characters that work under Curse of Nihility. Yeah, they're screwed. They can't do much. Yeah. That's why... Because I know... I know a lot of people have been doing budget clears, though. Yes, budget clears are good. Budget clears are good. Mm-hmm. Because I remember my first clear with Master Lilith, I used Estelle. Yeah. Estelle will actually do not underestimate. She's, like, right yeah. under Hildegard. She's... Yeah. At the time. At the time, she was, because, like, running Hildegard, actually. Because I didn't have Hildegard. I somehow did not have Hildegard for, like, the 2.5 years playing the game until they gave us that Dream Summon ticket with the Rage of Bahamut raid event. And I was like, yep, I'm getting Hildegard. No questions asked. And that just made everything so much easier for the light section of Master. Yeah. Uh, water, water. We had to wait a bit longer for Nurse Aileen to get her spiral because Jay Z is so inconsistent. So inconsistent. I made her work. Uh, yeah, we made her. I made her work too. It's just so like there were, she's not consistent enough. There were just every once in a while where I was like, really? Yes. Because <laughs> I remember back when I had to do like all the water characters stuff for my showcases. Jay-Z would be the bane of my damn existence. Like, any time I had to record, just, uh-uh. Yep. Don't want to cooperate with me. Yep. Anyways. It's enough on that. Yeah, just um, just give it time. It should sort itself out. Yes. But should be, be fine. But should be more accessible earlier earlier on. That's about it. Mm -hmm. I think after a searcher comes out, that's when we will start to see things open up a bit better. Yes, yes, because we, we, because we'll beyond because we'll, uh, beyond that point, they will no longer really drop units dedicating to a certain boss. They they'll just start to drop good units. Mhm. Mm like good, like all around units. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll probably uh, be seeing that uh, uh for like two to three months until the next end game. So that's still a good chunk of time. Yes, that, that's a good chunk. All right, let's move on. So. This is kind of like on topic because we are kind of waiting for chapter 21 part 2. I cannot wait right for now. that, by the way. Yes, I am so excited because chapter 21 part 1. Oh my god. I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't read it, but oh my god. Yeah. Um, But let's be real. Some of the sections of the story are absolutely stupid. Especially, especially the more beginner portions, I feel like. The more beginner portions are a little stupid and they drag on too much. I talked about this in my Alchemy Stars video because there's a story in there too. Um, I hate gotcha games where they just pad out the story too long. Even though, you know, Grand Blue's like how many chapters at this point? 140 something. I, 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 think, yeah. I think it's up to 146 right now. There is an anime you can watch that does cover some of it. Yeah. Matthew saw it. So oh, that's good. Matthew did see it. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, I don't like gotcha stories or stories in general that pad way too long. They take too long to get going. Because yeah. I'm a very, I'm a very much like get up and go kind of person. So I do like some of Dragalia's story. It's gotten better um, over the past six months, I'd say. But there's still some stuff with 16 through 20 I do not like at all. And we will address those. Um. So some of this stuff drives me up a wall. First of all, let's talk about Zethia being our resident Princess Peach. <laughs> this is that is getting so old. I am so sick of it. And it literally makes me feel like she is the Princess Elise from Sonic 06. Because Princess Elise got kidnapped like five times in that game. It was like, come on, man. God damn. Yeah, but I just still feel like the whole Zethia getting kidnapped is getting old at this point. It is, but both, 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 both at the same time, how story is going, I feel like that is going to change. I honestly yes. do. But at the time, all the memes were funny. I'm not going to lie. At the time, the memes were great. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, speaking of Zethia, she is getting a little better because she did have a big portion. She did have a big part in the Forgotten Truths event. But she still kind of has a little bit of her problems still because recently she got kidnapped again. And everyone's just like, you did. Why did you stand there? Arigo, my thing, my thing about this is that, and and well, I will always say this about gas stream stories is that we don't see it in motion. That that's yeah. my thing, All right? Because because this is why I prefer animation. I prefer, mm -hmm. I prefer like um actual like, like actual um, cutscenes. I, I, exactly, like how they how they did like the uh, like from like um chapter five or, or chapter six uh, to us where it was like a lot of like art like cutscenes actually showing what was happening. Yeah. I was a massive fan of those. I, I love those immensely. One, I think back in chapter one, there was like a in-game cutscene as well with Zena. Yes. So I wish they did more of those. Yes. Because those, those and also chapter five, especially when, when Zodiac was there and Aiden's father was there. And, and, mm -hmm. and all that art stuff. I love that. Mm -hmm. I just wish they did more of that because I don't like this still picture crap. I it don't know. It doesn't either. get me excited. It doesn't get me excited. It doesn't get me excited like a cutscene in an actual console game. It really does not. Where you can actually get invested with what's going on, especially in like an RPG or something like that. Because this is an RPG. Yeah, yeah, it is. I will, I will, I will say that if it, if this content slowdown also affects story, as it should give them more time to comb out the fine tunes of the story and make it more enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. If it if it takes reducing story to to one full chapter every three months, but we get the same quality we got in 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 like a visual quality, I should say. In as early game yes yes uh the same visual chapter quality as like chapters like one through five i'm fine with waiting the three months mm -hmm. seriously i will gladly wait the three months just to see much more visual effort put into every chapter with also I'm... the writing quality as it is right now that would be amazing yes I also kind of wanted to mention, like, Yudin. He's not the greatest protagonist. I know people oh, like fuck Yudin. No. Oh, fuck no. I, I know, like, people like Yudin and all that, but he sucks. He's not a great protagonist. Like, I'll take, I'll take Rex from Xenoblade Chronicles 2 any day over that. And I do not like Rex. Ooh. That's I do not a take. like Rex. That's a take, because I despise Rex. It's like, I do not like Rex at all as a protagonist. Fucking annoying little piece of shit. Yes, he absolutely is. I would I would still probably put Ayudin over him to be that honest because of just how much I don't fucking like him. But Ayudin's just standard. At least Rex has more character and he changes through the course of the story. Yudin doesn't feel like he changes at all. He feels he falls for the same fucking traps constantly. And he's like, in the last chapter, I'm going to be spoiling a little bit of chapter 21. So, spoiler warning! Um, he's basically telling Elysia, why are you doing this? Stop doing this, Elysium! Like, you know, like random generic protagonist crap. And I'm just like, why? You keep doing this! Just learn that Elysium's an asshole and he's not going to change his ways. At all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to ask if, if Nedrick was, was uh, the main protagonist, it would be a much better story. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That would be really cool. You know what would be really cool, though? If we got sort of like an event where we get to see everything with Nedrick leading up to his introduction in the story. Third Annie. Maybe. <laughs> Third Annie. Maybe. Maybe. That would be really cool. But yes, I feel like if Nedrick was the main protagonist, the story would have been a lot better. Though I understand why they do things the way they did, because they want to keep things a secret, like with the whole thing with the Church of Ilia and the whole truth behind that. 
and all that. Like, it's a big mystery. You want to keep the mystery a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Then, then also saving it for future events, uh, future story drops to then tie into other units being released and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Like the um, like Forgotten Truths tying into the event with Fabulous Tobias and Nino. I really like that. Yes. Even though I was mostly just excited for that event because of a Tobias alt. Because when we saw that in the digest, I was freaking the fuck out. He still sucks, though. He's not- his fame less to bias isn't the best, but I still made him work. <laughs> Just make him move around for fuck's sake. Don't make him stand still. Please! It's like this man has a illness against standing. Even- or like, moving. No, he has- he's allergic to moving. Alright, like- like, well, literally, a, literally it just both of them, and Tuesday were, it's like a, the man cast a four strike. Tuesday were, he, he just moves very slowly. Yeah. That's all I fucking that need to do. Fine. That's all I need to fucking do. Anyways, back on the Uden. I also think he's very gullible. Like, he trusts everybody he meets, no matter what. He doesn't have the slightest inch of suspicion at all. Yeah. And I'm also very sick of the whole power of friendship bullshit. That's that's just sadly an anime trope. That's it's an anime trope. That's just unfortunate though, <laughs> because well, I completely I completely agree. I would rather take a good story over power of friendship bullshit. Fairy tale. Fairy tale. I know my hero. I know you and I kind of differ a little bit in our opinions of my hero, but I feel like my hero Academia does power of friendship. A lot better. It does. Then, yes. Because it's like, you know, these people have their own lives too and all that, but, you know, they're a class. They still work together while striving for their own goals. Yeah. It's not like they're doing it for um, Midoriya's benefit or anything. No, they're doing this because they want to achieve their goals. Yeah, yeah. Which is something I do enjoy about that. That and that well, I will say that um, my hero, my hero about the whole like um, power of friendship stuff. It doesn't do it that often. It's it's mostly no. it, it's mostly it's just mostly in, like tournament arcs. Because I know there was one tournament arc. I think in season three they did that. I'm trying to remember because I know I saw season three. It was in the latter half when they were getting their hero licenses. Oh, it was, it was with Belly Button Man, wasn't it? With Aoyama, yes. Yes, all right. I know exactly that part. It's like, if you're <laughs> watching my friend who likes Aoyama, there you go, we mentioned Aoyama. Belly Button Man. <laughs> and I think, yes, the first part of season four did that as well. Very well, I may add. Like, eh, I don't care for the second half of season four, but we're not here to talk about my hero. Yep. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, let's see. Plus, on top of this, I know I was going to talk about chapter 16 through 20. Um, some of the stuff in 16 through 20 felt really anticlimactic. With the Agito and the characters there, like the enemies of, like, say, Ranzel and Volk or Elisan and Ciela. It felt very anticlimactic because with chapter, I think it was 17, with Volk and Ranzel talking, that actually got my hopes up. Like, oh, is this, are we going to learn something about Volk? Are we going to learn why Volk is this way or something like that? Like, and it got me interested. And then they fucking threw it out the window. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely something I do agree with. Um, I would say at most they did Ellie San and Ciela pretty good. That's probably yeah, the best one Elisand, out of them all so far. Walton, Taurus, and Cleo. Elisand, Taurus and Cleo. That one was yes. done pretty well, too. Because Elisan and Ciela had a few chapters with um, Elisan's doubts. Though I think that lasted a little too long for my personal liking. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was mostly Harlow just stirring uh, the pot. Mostly Harl just stirring the pot and fear mongering inside Elisan's head. Yeah, just to. But I feel like Chapter away. 16 was a really good send off to that arc in her character. 
But it's like, I really want to know, like, why the twins hate Laxi and Mascula so much. Because it's just like, oh, we hate you because we can. No context. Uh, how, uh, it's how, so stupid. Uh, how they put it is that, um, um, you think you are free when you don't. Yeah, so but it's, it's just like, so like, mm. I want to know more than just that, because the Agito lips be real, they do say very interesting things, but they're still very big. Irremissible. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Goddamn Devin Mac. Yes! Oh my gosh. Devin Mack does a great job as Volk. Yes. So, all credits to him. Yes. Absolutely. Plus, Love Volk. with... Yes. Plus, these past few chapters, I fucking hate the shoehorning of the Reborn Dragons. Oh, I trust me. Like, I do too. I feel like they were forced to meet a quota. Like, the first... Okay, I will give them credit for, like, the first two. Not or say, Elisans and Lucas, I think we're done the best. By far. Absolutely by far. Because, okay, with I... Lucas, with Lucas, he actually did something in that chapter. He saved Yudin from dying in a blizzard. Yes, yes. And then also, he quite literally took, took Mascula's katana and quote-unquote became Gala. Like, yes. Like, that was cool. Yes. That was done very well. Ellie Sands, uh, 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 to time to earlier, before. that that also was a perfect send-off to her arc as well. Fucking yeah. Zephyr. What the fuck was Zephyr? Yeah, I was like, okay. I was actually wondering with, like, the whole Ranzel thing, because Ranzel had his doubts about staying with Yudin, which was like, oh, this is interesting. Because I feel like some people reading the story I kind of agree like what's the whole fucking point of half these characters in this story at this point they're just here for Yudin's own goals they're not here for their own goals mainly yeah. Alex Alex has not done shit for a good long while also 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 has had a good appearance for a good long while yeah she only shows up for like five seconds to talk and then you never see her again the rest of the chapter and it's like what's the point it's like, what's the point of having these characters if you're not going to utilize them? Yeah, they've they've even been, they've even been utilizing Mim pretty well as well. Recently, by... recently. Yeah, exactly. They've been they've been using her uh, pretty well so far. I will say that. Mm hmm. Though I feel like Mim's crap with her wanting to be with Yudin constantly is getting really annoying at this point. I don't, I, I know it's been it's, it, it's been annoying. It's been beaten to a dead horse like i know you love mim and all that but still it's like uh i was like, like i don't want like say it was me having a guy be like that to me i'd just be like stay away from me please fucking don't same. come near me absolutely fucking same like like well as a fellow mim connoisseur i guess <laughs> you only like her for the looks that's it. That's it. That's everything it. Everything else about her, whatever. Dead honest. I also felt like some of like the Gala adventurers were also sort of shoehorned in a little bit. Shell wasn't, so I'll give her credit. Like we knew it was coming Shell was eventually. Nice. Leaf was okay, I guess. Leaf yeah. was only okay. Mascula and Gala Audric were the two that I felt like, like, what's the fucking point of you guys being here again? Mascula so especially Mascula had some Mascula had a little bit of build up, but if you didn't read the story for certain events, you wouldn't have known this. That's kind of why his was only okay because we, we, we because beyond those those little events that were shown before, you would not have had the slightest idea who the hell it was. Versus yeah. Audric, um, I do feel like that well he will be tied into something. Soon. later on very soon maybe because there is still a lot of plot threads we have yet to uncover because well be, because well even as is with 21 part one more spoilers by the way really mm -hmm. quick um when elysium said said and and every time the timeline starts to go fucky it's always a member of the of the alberian family 
Do you see Audric react to that? Yeah. It's like it's like he knows that Though I think that he's think, pretty much the one that fucks that fucks shit up. Do I think chapter 20 part 2 basically confirmed Audric is um Aurelius just under a different name? Yeah. That basically confirmed a two-year theory. Yeah, yeah. I mean I, I mean we pretty much knew that already mm -hmm. though, but But it wasn't like set in stone in the story. Yeah, yeah. I do uh, Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. But I just feel like him showing up when he did was kind of weird. But he was cool, though, so therefore it's irrelevant. Yeah. He was cool, though. Uh, let's just cross our fingers and hope that he gets some relevancy soon. Because it's like, okay, we know he did stuff because of fractured futures. Like, he's trying to fix shit. Yeah. Which Elysium doesn't like, obviously. Uh -huh. So it's like, I want this all to, I don't know, like, I want some conclusion to that. I want some continuation, man. Don't keep me off the hook for so long. They're saving shit like that for anniversaries, though, so sadly, yes. uh, it's... We gotta it, wait a few more weeks. It's either gonna be a few weeks, or a few months, maybe, maybe even into years. Yeah. But I feel like another character that kind of got pushed to the wayside was Laxie as well. Laxie did, yeah. Mm -hmm. She had her moment in Chapter 11. I yeah. think it was Chapter 11. She had a moment in Chapter 11 and I think 14 it was. When they were taking back the capital. I believe it was 14. Yes, it was 14. She had her moment in 14 as well. And then afterwards she's just like, oh, um... Yeah, she's here, I guess. And present. And also, and also Cerise. Cerise is just fucking gone. She's fucking gone. It's like, the last time we saw her, like, main story-wise, I don't even remember. <laughs> Chapter 2? It's also crazy. Like it's also crazy of how she's also not existent in the game as well. Even though she did get an alt recently. And no spiral. No spiral for her original, even though... Sir Gala Cerise is one of the worst scholars in the game. Yeah, they gotta change that. Mm -hmm. Cause they fixed Granzel. They fixed Granzel pretty well. I want to see them do the same for Cerise. Liter she needs it so bad. Literally, the one thing they can adjust to make her really, really freaking good is give her strength and defense amps. Yes, and give her um attack affliction. Of some sort, either burn or scorch rent. She doesn't even need that really because. Because. But I think it would be a nice added bonus. It, it would be. It absolutely would be a nice little addition, but she really doesn't need it. Like, like yeah. well, like well, ev like well, everyone else can supply just fine, especially with now res down starting, starting to exist. Like you don't really need everyone to do an affliction. Mm hmm. Just have yeah, her. I feel like uh, just have her be the supporter. Needs something to do. Cerise needs something to do in the story. Yeah, maybe maybe they can tie into the uh, Yggdrasil lore. Maybe that'd be interesting, but I'm not sure how they're gonna tie that into the main story. There's also a few characters in the uh, new arc we're in we haven't seen for a, for a little while. Like we saw them like once, and they've been gone. You're talking about Grams, aren't you? Yes. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yes. That, that one priestess. Yes. Like, she was there for one chapter, and we never saw her again. One chapter said her m monologue about, about, about going after our group, then nothing. Mm-hmm. Not even the That's Templars. Why... Just nothing. That's why I feel like some of these characters are just like, why? Do you exist? I mean, well, I do. Uh, I do feel like this is when Sai was like trying to find a formula for the story. They were just fucking around and finding out, really. Experimentation, N basically. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that they actually have a kind of more like a roadmap right now, it's mm -hmm. definitely becoming more streamlined. And now they're going to start to tie all those ends together, knowing mm -hmm. where it's going to start to go. Yeah. 
So after chapter 21, part two, we don't know what's going to happen quite yet. But I know with the digest, I'll probably give us some little teasers and all that. Hopefully. I'm so excited for this digest. So excited. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. Okay, we did have one more thing, but that's not on the script. We were talking about this beforehand because you reminded me. Yes, um, yes. This... Trials of the Mighty. This is a complaint I see on all of the Trials of the Mighty videos I do. It's something I always fucking see. We're going to address it, okay? Yes. Um, you, this is something you've more seen than me, so I'll let you do this one. Okay, so, uh, so, so the biggest bitch about it is that it is, it's not always, uh, it's not always available. That's the biggest thing everyone is always saying, because, because it follows a schedule, let's say, for example, you pull Gala Yudin, but Gal but but Galathor, Charles the Mighty just left. You cannot even start to spiral him until like three months later. To as of which you still need to wait another three rotations in order to finish Galleon. So that can easily take what, a year to actually finish? Yeah. So, if you haven't been doing Charles of the Mighty since their integration. Right. Right, exactly. So that's where a lot of people are beginning to complain about this. I understand where, where everyone is coming from. It just never bothered me that much because well, side games, they always incorporate time-limited stuff eventually into their grinding systems. Yeah. They do. So honestly, it was only a matter of time. It's a shame that it's in this format. It truly is. This could have been done a lot better. It really could have. To be honest. I think we, we thought of, like, two separate ways it could be done. Uh, uh, you, one way, yes, one way is have all the trials available at all times. Just have them all available at all times, no schedule, no nothing. So, I don't know if they'll do that, get rid of the schedule thing, but there's an alternative idea I had. So, basically, with that, like, you could go in every day... You do your daily for, like, say, uh, Thor's trial, because we've been using that example. You could go do that every day and get your materials you need for you to spiral. So, instead of taking, like, a year to finish a spiral, it'll take you about a month to finish one spiral. And then after that, you can move on and do another character. Yeah, And yeah. all that. And the other way I thought, if they wanted to keep the schedule, they could instead have it where you could get the convictions and devotions through grinding. It doesn't need to be a guaranteed drop or anything. It could just be like a possible drop. Like, make it easier for us to get these items for these spirals. Like, if they still want to do the rotation thing, that's fine. I know Void Battles did a rotation thing for the longest time, which yeah. is like it was it was okay because we could actually grind it out. Yes, exactly. That's why that's why that's why it was fine. That was yeah. like a double draws happened as well in Chile, but it was yeah. doable. It was manageable. So that's why I feel like they should do a um, Void Battles sort of thing with that. Yeah. Like if you desperately, desperately feel like, oh, the schedule should stay, then, you know, do that. Just, you know, keep the schedule consistent. But there's so many trials going on right now. I feel like it's just better for them to just have them all available all at once. I feel like, I feel like when they, I feel like when they add in so much, eventually they absolutely are going to do that or, 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 or just make like, Two to five available out at the same time all the time to as far it barely matters anymore. Mm -hmm. But but the well um but well the main reason why why we are so why we are suggesting that will maybe off like a lower drop chance. I would say squish them rare because that's ridiculous. Maybe like void seed rare possibly. Then yeah. Then obviously uh, the void seed rare would be a little bit better than yeah, squish yeah. maybe. Maybe a little bit rarer 
at the least for the um the, at least for the uh, uh devotion that one yes. at the least a, a, a little bit rarer than than void seed but it's something right now yes now the main reason why i tossed this out there was mainly because grand blue it does have a kind of something similar you can gold brick farm and and, and and well in case if you don't know what gold bricks are those are the equivalent of a Damascus ingot in in Dragalia. It it's a free unbind on a five star weapon. So, and it's abysmally low, like absolutely abysmal low. So maybe just maybe that can actually respar some form of co op. Yeah, because co ops kind of eh at this point. Like, say I want to do something for Agito for, like, a video, for, like, a showcase. I have to manually get people to silence. do that. It's just yeah. silence. Absolute silence. So I have to go into discords and stuff and ask people for this. Like, hey, can you guys help me do this for a video? Which is... It's like, I get it. Agito is kind of dead at this point. Yeah. But it's just still, like, give us something to incentivize co-op a bit more. Yeah, that's that's also why I stop showcases as well because it's like I can't get in any rooms because they're non-existent, and yeah, I feel like three random people that do join, they're more likely dog shit, so I can't properly do the unit anyway. Yeah, it's just frustrating because also because also just like busy introvert me, I won't talk to people, and I just want to hop in, do two clears, be done. Exactly. I get what I get. I don't be upset, and whatever. Yeah, but it's like, at this point, I'm just so sick of dealing with pubs that I'm just like, I'd rather deal with people that I know can actually do the fight and not waste my damn time. Exactly. That's exactly That's it. why I do the showcases like that now. Because I know back in the day when I started doing them, I was able to get pubs because I did them during double drops. But it's really hard to work my double drops, the uh, um, showcases around those double drops, per se. Yep. So that kind of hampers like a schedule I may have for the week for videos or something like that. Uh huh. Which is I annoying. Agree. But yes, I know people really say like, "Oh, Trials of the Mighty is a good idea on paper, but it's so clunky. It is so clunky." It is. It. It, it most definitely is. That's why. That's why I always wait until something actually happens, l l like Lonely like Hell, that. I'll be in a battle royale and, 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 and time attack. I was like, okay, looks bad, but we'll see how it plays out. May maybe mm -hmm. they have a hidden trick up their sleeve that will actually make it worth the while. Yeah. We were also kind of discussing how some of the fights are BS for a variety of reasons. Mars. Mars, especially. Because I did do a tier list, actually, on the Trials of the Mighty. Um... But it's a little bit outdated at this point, so... But I think some of my points from that video still stand, especially with Mars. Like, it's the worst. It's the worst, still. Literally, the worst. literally me finishing Yukata Cassandra, um, like, like, well, the day before it was leaving, I, I had, like, uh, three chests because I was just being uh, lazy. Mm -hmm. Literally, it was so hard to get those room clears as soon as, soon as I finish it because no one does experts so, for for some fucking reason on Mars. Everyone does master on Mars, so that's that makes it dumb. So so that makes it even harder. But but literally, when I got Cassandra up to sixty seven, I was like, okay, I'm not touching this again until until literally everyone else that week is seventy. Literally, I'm not touching that again. Yeah, it was that fucking bad. And, and, and honestly, I, I, at least some people are realizing that, oh, hey, you can do expert and, and just do master the one and time for the additional. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. like, I don't know if how many people know this, but you can actually skip ticket expert so you don't actually have to go in and do the fight. So once you cleared it, you could just go in, skip ticket your daily, and then go on with your day, which I think is really nice. It most definitely is. I just use wings because one, I'm saving stamina. I have a shit ton of wings because I don't mm -hmm. do co-op anymore. Yeah, you and I are the reverse right now. You and I are the reverse right now. It's like I'm not gonna even share my honey stash. 
Because you... I know people are going to go after me. Okay, then you're telling me after the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I, I will tell you. I will tell you my ashes as equivalent. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But I also think like the weapon restrictions are also bad as well. Yeah. In some yeah. cases. Yeah. Like Kamui's. Some... Kamui's. When that first came out, that was absolute bullshit. That absolutely was. Like, because... like some weapon types are absolute trash. But however, I will say the raids are debatably the best guy. Oh yes. The raids are the best. Honestly, so, I, regardless of how hard Master Lilith was, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I feel like Kamui's was still the worst. Like, I'm going to talk about that again for a few seconds. That's fine. Um, back when that first came out, the only mana caster we had, because that was one of the weapon restrictions we had, was Formal Joaquin. Because this came out literally before Saiga came out. Yeah. Like about a week or two it was, before it, that. It was like Lance, Mana Caster, or something else. It was like either when before Saiga came out or Grimir came out. I think it was Grimir, actually. It was Grimir. It was flooded with Grimirs. Yeah, and I didn't summon on that banner, obviously, because I was saving. I think, yeah, I was saving for Fire Emblem, so that's why I didn't do that, because I had like half the roster I was missing. At the I time, want, I wanted Grimir so bad because, like, he is actually a dumb fucking unit. Like, he outright is increasing, great. Well, like, I mean, out, outright increasing your damage with Midgar Zero existing. Are you kidding me? I mean, like, that is a beautiful combination right there. It seriously is. He's such a fun unit to do. He really is. He is actually one of the characters I need to do a showcase on. <laughs> so, one day, I don't know when. But one day. I don't know. If people yell at me enough, I'll, I'll do it. I'll probably if, do it. If Matthew yells enough. <laughs> You're like, he's I been mean... hounding me to do showcases. It's ridiculous. He's been hounding me. Oh, gosh. But I remember I had a friend at the time. You know who you are. Um, he didn't have a single mana caster. Oh. When Kamui came out, he didn't have formal Joaquin. Oh. So he had to do it with three lances and a staff. Oh God, how fun was that? It was bad for him. I bet it was. I I yeah. seriously, I seriously have not even bothered with like all the master solo clears yet. I seriously because have the only good lance at the time was Silas. Oh, because God. this was right before Grimir came out. This was right before Grimir came out, like day one. <laughs> At the least, Kirsty, because no nihility. Yeah, well, at least Kirsty is getting her spiral soon, so that's good. I will give Trials of the Mighty credit. It is giving spirals to some characters as of late that did need it, like Leah, especially. Because before her spiral, I would have said she is the worst fucking five star in the game. I would have said that. I I'm gonna be real. But now. Trials of the Mighty Spirals, I consider Nihility Spirals at this point. Yeah. Like, seriously, I mean, these, are, fine. these are pretty they're much Nihility-proof Spirals, which is good. Yes. It gives more people some more options for Dominion content, which is I'm perfectly fine with. Though I feel like some of the Galas really didn't need them. Some definitely did not. Um, but, however, I will say this, as time went on, we just realized how good these sparrows actually are. Like Granzel, for example. Gelly. Gelly. Yeah. Gelly was a godly spiral. Um, yeah. Because when when Gelly first came out, we were all like, wait, why does Gelly need a spiral? And then we realized what it entailed, and we're like, oh, okay, this is actually broken. It's like, oh, this is actually dumb. She yeah, did not so... need it, but this is immensely welcomed. So I am hoping for when we do see Kirstie's and Lazarie's spirals that they're actually pretty decent. You see, when it comes to I... Lazary, Lazary's use right now is for Frostbite. Master Lilith. Like, like, well, her kid as is, it's pretty nihility-proof. 
it's pretty uh, an heli proof, still good damage under uh, an heli. So because I know somebody, I think used Lazari in Master Lilith. I think it was. Maybe uh, I'm thinking of a different person. Uh, uh, I should not have said the name. Matt, bleep that. Matt, please bleep Matt, that, please. Matt, bleep it. Matt! <laughs> Oops. My bad. Whoopsies. Whoopsie deals. Um, but no, I was thinking of another person, which I'll probably explain later. Okay. When we're done with this, so, you know, Matt doesn't have to censor us again. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> I, I just get my mouth shut. <laughs> well, whenever name's gonna come, I just get my mouth shut. Oh no! Except, oh, oh no! Except for Ma except for uh, except for Matt's name, I will throw him under the bus entirely. <laughs> if, if he wants to bleep out his name every time, so be it. That, that's his own damn fault. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be wonderful. I have tears in my eyes right now. <laughs> This is this is gonna be an amazing video because we've been going for an hour forty minutes. Yes, we have. We I hope Matt is able to keep most of it. So I bet that'll I, be great. I bet he will. He'll just absolutely hate me. That's yeah. about it. He will absolutely Anyways. hate me. Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? In regards um... of the game in general? Um, stuff that I have uh, complaints about. Um, I feel like uh, the stuff that you have listed, it is absolutely stuff that should most definitely be looked Addressed. at in game, at least in game. Yes, I, I, I said because the community was included. The because in the community one, that's going to be some that's something we can't change per se. We're just saying as as content creators, the community kind of sucks. Sometimes, yeah, it's that's that's every for us. That, that's every yeah, you know, like, yeah. I, so I, we I, can't change that. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Uh, the other stuff we can only give like uh, re recommendations for. I would say, mm -hmm. but, but, well, but well, I will say that an overall issue, which it, it, it's been mentioned uh, throughout here multiple times, is that solo play has just overtaken the game. Yeah. Like seriously, it's overtaken to the point to as where co-op rooms they are nearly non-existent. Literally, when you go to the find co-op co button for all content in the game, it's only it's like dead. three pages. It's only it's only like three pages. Most of it is probably like Sinister Dominion. No, not even. Not even. It's like it's like some chimeras, some Agitos. Obviously, the event stuff. It's I'm very, very few. Yeah. I it's feel like they ridiculous. should do something to incentivize co-op a little bit more. Um, in X-Dive, they actually have like a full separate thing with co-op where you can get armor in co-op to upgrade your characters and stuff like that, which are like a permanent upgrade once you get them and all that. So that could be a way of incentivizing that, and you also get the materials needed to create said armor as well. So they could do something like that, like co-op is in a separate thing where you get certain materials for something. I don't know what, but make it more incentivizing to do co-op, at least like for dailies or something. That is also something. They should really update the dailies. In this game, a little bit. Dailies as in the daily login or the, or the, the daily dailies. login. Not the daily login. The daily missions, my bad. The uh, daily login's fine. I the actually... Uh, I actually feel like the daily missions are mostly fine. I feel like before it was worse. Before it was much oh, worse. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's at least very, very quick. You can They're literally, very quick. you can pretty much do event dailies and almost complete them as is. Mm -hmm. It's like you can very go doable. to like you can go to like that auto button in like the quest menu and just skip ticket like two or three of them. Yeah, exactly. Avenue to fortune, avenue to power, elemental stuff, and the dragon trials, all that stuff. You can oh, yeah, go yeah. and do that. Yeah, you can literally do all five done. in one shot. That that helps it immensely. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, say, if they did something with, like, they changed the PvP mode, like, they made a new PvP mode or something, 
they get rid would... of Bal get rid of battle royale. Just yeah, good. Alvarian battle royale. Trade if they one did PvP for with another. That and change it and change it up. They could add it to the dailies, but it actually has to be worth a damn. Because if it got added to the dailies in this state, people would not do it. Uh, they can literally have it be like a little bit more Eldwater, like 500 Eldwater, just for, just for like, oh, hey, uh, just, just participate. Just do one battle and then you're done. Exactly. For like 500 Eldwater. Because I know Eldwater, Princess Connect. Because I know in Princess Connect for our, um, daily missions, they have us do like both PvP modes and whenever clan battles open, uh, it tells us like, hey, at least attempt clan battle every day. Yeah, exactly. Like, like something as simple as that will be yeah. great. Maybe, maybe even, maybe even hell. When, when, whenever ABR is available, have a have a daily for that. But also, let there actually be missions for it. Yes. Let there like, be PvP missions. To as of where it incentivizes yeah. you to actually do it, gives you actually good rewards. Hell, you can you can put more slide doors in there. You can put. Shame assessments in there again, more mm -hmm. Eldwater. Literally good stuff people need or stuff that anyone can literally do. Oh, my cat's yeah. on my door. Oh. Huh. Get out. <laughs> can we keep that in the video, please? Literally, he was standing at the door just <laughs> patiently. I completely forgot he was in here. Oh, we were talking so much. She got too bored. I, um, I do not know how long she was sitting there. I do not know. All right. I'm trying to remember. There was one thing. Yes, in Princess Connect, we do have missions. It's like, say, like, um, complete, like, win a arena match a hundred times or something. That is a mission in there. Like, if you do it, like, a certain amount of times, you get rewards and stuff. It's mostly, like, summon currency, which is fine. But still, it's that, like, it gives you the fine. incentive of doing it. And also, another thing, I did not mention this about guilds. So Princess Connect has a way to, like, say if you're low on materials for something, like you're working on Agito weapons, and you need those shards for, like, Tartarus. Let's use Tartarus for an example. So for that, in the case of Princess Connect, if you are low on, like, a weapon shard or something, you can actually go to the request button, and it will pull up a thing in the clan showing, like, hey, this person is requesting uh 10 of these pieces of a weapon shard or something and then your other oh, clan yeah. members can give you that so which is something i think they could do in the guilds here because this game is very grindy yeah yeah we can literally what what us can veterans donate. can do is is that really our spare materials when someone needs a certain mat it's like okay here you go yeah we can just donate our stuff yeah exactly which I think will be really good to help newer players, say, if we have, like, newer players in the guild or anything like that. Not even, like, just newer players, but even, like, more mm -hmm. experienced players who, who are, like, say, for example, you, for example, you are starting yes. to go for your weapon bonuses. You mm -hmm. can start to request for materials that will help out w with that task. Like, say I requested uh, Crimson Cores or something like that. You know, people in the guild can give me some crimson cores to help out. Yeah, that, even even for me, even for me, for example, I'm limiting my dominions to weeklies right now because that mm -hmm. will give me the most bang for my buck while, while waiting for half stamina to happen. If someone still happens to have already completed all their all their dominion stuff, I can start to leech off of them a, a little bit. Yes, for example, I think it is very. It would be a really nice addition and give more. Um, reason for the guilds to exist other than, you know, logging in every day and getting the honey and the rupees and the mana. Exactly. I, I, exactly. Like, just, just give stuff more purpose than just, like, existing. Yes. So like, I feel like Dragalia can learn from a lot of other Psy games, gotcha games, and other gotcha games in general. I really... Though I think part of it is because, you know, Nintendo is working with them with Psy games on this so you know how nintendo is with yeah. their outdated practices yeah yeah but but well for 
before the rage of a uh, Bahamut uh, t- 10th anniversary, Ayudin is finally entering it, which is which is something. Uh... Which is something I've seen people speculate on. Like, does this mean anything? Which I think I heard. Dragalia's contract with Nintendo only lasted three years. That's what which, I heard as well. I, I which which could actually line up with the whole like uh, event changing thing. Content slowdown. Yes. Year. Yes. Yes. That could line up perfectly with, with the con- with the content slowdown, and hopefully this does mean that a lot of changes do start to happen or announced. Yes. So like, I want the changes to be a slow transition, though. So people are like, okay, stuff is changing, but we're still, it's just slow and gives me people more time to get adjusted to it. Yeah. I just don't want it to be like, oh, all in your face. Because I remember when the worm prints changed and the weapons changed, people were freaking out. People were freaking out because it was, it was changed. All right. We, us content creators, we needed to literally deep dive so deep and explain everything to as of where people finally understood it. And I was like, oh, this is very good, actually. Be like, oh, this actually isn't a headache. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, 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 so I remember doing that for, for like a, the first week. All right? I, I literally had to, I had to learn everything so fucking quickly. And it's like, this is actually pretty good. Mm-hmm. Let me explain it real quick. <laughs> That was fun. Because that yeah. was in flames. Like, god damn. Oh, gosh. Was there anything else you did want to say? Because I think I've pretty much exhausted everything I kind of wanted to say at this point. Um, I'm going to be honest. I did not have a list. Uh, that co-op thing was something that just came to mind, honestly. Yeah, the, yeah it's stuff with, like, the uh, arena and stuff like that and the daily missions and the guild stuff. That just kind of sprung up while yeah. we were talking. Yeah, yeah, like, like, well, it was only mi- mildly mentioned, but those can absolutely be be their own topics as well. Yeah, absolutely. But, 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 no, I believe I did explain about everything. I can guarantee you, um, uh, the comments will be, will be saying salty. their own opinions. About- They'll be very, very salty. <laughs> I gotta show you the. Uh- thumbnail i was going to do for it originally so you'll like that you'll like that oh really yes is it is it stealable maybe <laughs> is maybe. it stealable i like i i mean going that i i can i can easily uh make my own i don't care i don't care <laughs> well i still want to show it because it's funny i will absolutely uh, take a look at it but all right but well, let's wrap up this video. We've been recording for almost two hours. Matthew's gonna kill me, absolutely, <laughs> because maybe because Matthew comes home in like four hours. I'm gonna tell him, "Hey, I recorded two hours of footage." He'll say, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> absolutely, I can guarantee you. <laughs> It'll be wonderful. Oh yes, it will. But hopefully, you guys did end up enjoying this. Um. Um, feel free to say your opinions on what we said here, or even some stuff in in Dragalia that that you guys are are hoping that gets addressed during anniversary, or maybe even during through the month of 2022, because it's 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 gonna be a big year. I said month of 2022, didn't I? Yes, you did. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the year of 2022. I, I didn't know 2022 was a month. <laughs> It, it will feel like a month, I'm that's for sure. A lie. It, it, it will feel like a month, <laughs> that's for sure. Anyways. But yes, hopefully you did enjoy. And once again, thank you, C, uh, for, for coming down and letting me steal. You're welcome. And, and, letting me, and letting me steal your idea. This was absolutely <laughs> worth it, in my opinion. This was totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. This was it. fun. This was great. Yes. This was fun. And do subscribe to her as well. She does yes. great content. Do subscribe to her. Almost 200 subs. At the least, hit that. Try and go beyond. I dare yes. you guys. I dare you guys. Go beyond. Come on. <laughs> let's make it a challenge. Yes. Yes. Let's challenge you guys. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Let's see how hard you can go. Let's and, see. And, and without further ado, um, do you have any closing words that you would like to say to the community? Um. Oh, gosh. You're putting me in a tight spot. Yes, I am. 
<laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, basic, honestly, like, still, like, everything we said is just our opinions. Um, don't take it for word of mouth, obviously. And still, like Mike said, I do hope you guys do enjoy us talking about this stuff because this is a lot of stuff that we feel like needs addressed. Mm -hmm. And we do hope um, Games does listen to us with our requests and all that stuff. Games typically is. They just, sometimes it just takes a while to yeah. have the changes happen. I, I presume at least six months. So maybe 3.5. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Maybe even four. Depends on the change. That's pretty much all I have to say. All right, and without further ado, um, I have no idea when this is getting uploaded, how how close it will be to to anniversary, but but hopefully you guys are excited for 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 anniversary. And until next time, I or we will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, now I get to show you.